here we have a typical square wave pattern that you would pick up on most Hall effect sensors. It's the machine right now is in replay mode, so it's replaying a screen that I have saved. I'm going to go ahead and hit the stop button randomly and then clear this menu. And as I do so, we can pretty much use our graticals to measure what the reference voltage is on this signal. So if we look here, we know that each little box is worth one volt. So if we count up, we'll just pick this one, one, two, three, four, five. So typical five volt reference signal. But to try to measure the time with this accurately to figure out what the frequency is, that's what the hard part is. So that's how we need why we need to use our cursors. So I'm going to press the cursor button. And if we look here, the cursors say it can either go up and down and measure things this way, or they can go top to bottom, which would measure things this way. So, of course, if we're measuring anything going across the screen this way, it's going to be time. Here's the move button. So, when this is highlighted, I'm going to move this cursor. And when this is highlighted, I'm going to move the opposite cursor. So, let's go ahead and move the opposite cursor. And we just press the buttons. And the way we know what frequency is, is from the start of one pattern to the beginning of the other pattern, and we come up with the time reading, <coughs> we, well, it even says right here, 1 over time equals frequency. So what we'll do now is press the move button again. Now I'm going to move this one. And it looks like we're just about... And the reading here is for the cursors. <clears throat> we're right about 5.040 milliseconds. Fortunately for us, this machine will tell us what that frequency is by just hitting the 1 over time button and that's 198.4 hertz. So that means that this pattern is repeating itself 198 times per second. So you can see the value of having something like this where it's going to capture that time for you because there really isn't any other machine that can do that. You might have a meter and it might display hertz but are you going to be able to determine what the pattern actually looks like? So now we're going to put this on the other side, back to time, and see, see, see what this says. It says 5.4. So then we're going to, well, let's just put it back to frequency, and then I'm going to replay the movie again, and we'll see how close the frequency really is. So it's about 198 hertz. I'm going to hit the replay button and then just press play and we'll take the cursors off and hit replay and if you look at it it's about 199 hertz as I have the machine set up to record hertz so 199, 198.4 uh, it's pretty close. We'll take a look at some more uh, time measurements here as soon as I can get the machine set up again to see something else. 